Here's another one from, I want to read from um, MSVG3. Another Tucson native is Linda Ronstadt. Uh-huh. Her family were early ranchers and merchants in Tucson. Yeah. Um, they have a major downtown they finally built years ago, but I was, when I first lived here, it wasn't there. They really have organized this bus system up. There are like stations now, major stations where it's just like sort of like um, Grand Central Station or Penn Station. This is where the hub is, where you get all the connections. And downtown is one of the major ones. It's called the Ronstad uh, Station. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's it. Ronstad name is pretty popular here. I lived there several years in youth and college age. I miss it. And visited recently to hike Sabino Canyon. So much to do in Tucson. Also, why go all, oh, here's one. Oh, yeah, I wanted to answer this. She goes, why go all the way to Flagstaff when you can drive up to Mount Lemon in the Catalina Mountains outside of town and hike the Pine Forest? Huh? That's not why I go to Flagstaff so that I can go hiking. Um, <laughs> really, um, I go to Flagstaff to spend the summer or I have the past two summers. I don't know what I'm going to do this summer. So I understand why you're asking that, but I think you think that maybe I go to Flagstaff to hike and I don't, I go there to live. There's no way I can go up to Mount Lemon and live. I mean, yeah, it, plus it's not a city and you have to come down. Get food. Yeah, that, that would, that was a wonderful question. But it's not practical and it doesn't, doesn't suit my needs quite a bit. Mount Lemon is like a resort up there and it is a high mountain. It's not as high. Um, uh, what, uh, what is the elevation of Mount Lemon? Oh, you know, it might be like 8,000, but there's no, there's no, it, it's like it has a restaurant. It has some cabins. <laughs> and that's about it. I think it's got a little general store. It's got a little teeny weeny little coffee uh, shop that you just walk up to. Um, no. Yeah. It's, uh, that, it's not. I love the cities. Mount Lemon is a great place to visit. And for hiking. Or even some mountain climbing. But not to live. Okay? Yeah. Not to live. So there you go.
This comment is from Yucca, Yucca Valley Nan 2074. She said, because I did a video and I explained about Arizona and the region and the cities. She said, having lived in Flagstaff for college, then Phoenix, Tempe, and Scottsdale, and lastly Tucson, totaling 40 years in Arizona, you nailed the descriptions and personalities of the Arizona cities right right on the head. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean, it, I've been in Arizona for 40 years too. And living in these places or knowing of them is, yeah. She says, my fave by far is Tucson. Me too. Unfortunately, I live in California now. Oh, poor one. Here's another question from user WS1GG1ZD3Z. <laughs> okay. Question. How often do you do a hotel stay? Well, it depends on what I got in the bank. And I like to go and get a bath. If you're new, I like to do a hotel room. It's a lot cheap. And I won't pay more than $100 for a stay. But I do like to soak in the tub. If I need to color my hair, I will go and rent a hotel room. So I have to do it at least once every three months. But it gives me a chance to power up all of my power stations, lights, you name it. My laptop, I can get everything at everything zapped up at 100%. That feels good when I do that. And then I can soak in the tub. It's like a spa day, really, is what it is. But coming up, I think I'll probably only do maybe once a month, okay? But right now, I can't do it because everything is sky high. The Gem and Mineral Show is going on in Tucson right now. And literally, um, hotels are three times what I would normally spend. Like the one hotel that I really like, that's up to like $300 when I would only pay a hundred. So once everything calms down, I can go back and, um, and, and get a hotel room, get a nice bathtub and, and power everything up. But what I did just two days ago is I took my Jackeries to my daughter's and she powered up for me. She plugged them in. So good question. Good question.
here we go. This is from Brenda Maurer, Meyer. If you are located in places where the weather isn't too bad, do you ever use your heater? And where you go, is there ever any snow? Well, um, I, you can find snow in Mount Lemmon, actually. Um, it has snowed at times in Tucson. But do I normally go where there's snow and, and no, no, um, no, thank you. <laughs> I have got caught in snow when I was in Ohio and, um, you know, I was, I was living in Cincinnati for a year. When I first became a nomad, I went to Cincinnati, helped out my daughter and, um, my, see my granddaughter. But anyways, yeah, the day I left Ohio as a nomad, oh my gosh, um, yeah, the, I had snow. I was trying to get away, but I couldn't. Something happened. My alternator went bad, and I got stuck there. <laughs> so I went through this Arctic blast, and when I woke up, there was snow up to, like, here on my van. I had to kind of, like, dig it out. Yeah. And then I left. Yeah, they they um, got salt on the roads, and I said goodbye to my... I said, I'm out of here. I went as south as I could go, and then went the southern route to come southern route to go back to Tucson. Um, do I use my heater? I got rid of my um, little heater. I get kind of tired of carrying it. I d you know what? When I need heat, if, if I need heat, I turn on my car. And here's how I do it. I turn it on and I let it warm up. You got to let the engine warm up because that's how the heater works through the engine. That you let the heater, the engine warm up. It takes about four minutes. Then I blast in the heat, but I only let that run about five minutes because any longer than that, because you've already let it run three, then five, that's almost like 10 minutes. What happens is from the exhaust from the pipe, what happens, it can get under your car and starts kind of seeping up and come in and it can give you a headache and, and yeah, it's, it's not good for you. So I don't, go any longer than that yeah but it, it warms it up pretty darn good and then i'm good you just have to dress warm if you're back east and you're a nomad and i know a lot of uh you, a lot of you are that you'd be better you probably do have heaters you would almost have to have a heater a little buddy like the smaller little buddies yeah so there's that <laughs>